When progressing a spinal stabilization program, oftentimes we have the use of the upper body or lower body to create longer levers and make an exercise more challenging. Oftentimes, though, I'm finding it challenging for myself that sometimes someone's limbs or they become too much of a lever for that person to maintain. And I'm trying to find ways to progress the person but not too fast. And the total gym leg pulley system gives me an opportunity to progress someone but yet still have them have some semblance of assistance with the exercise movement pattern. So Jeff here is going to lie back. And when I work with my patients, I either use the slide distance regulator or I put my foot here to help stabilize the board. Because we're using the power tower and the power tower has a higher incline, I'm going to put an extender on to make it a little bit easier for someone to get into. So I'm gonna have him place his foot into the harness. Again, it's around the arch and the Achilles and then it's gonna go into the other foot as well. The weight, then goes into each foot and he presses out, straight out. So some of the exercises you can do, again, are double leg bicycle where the knee's coming in and out. Your feet can be in a V, your feet can be parallel. You can work with coordination with the feet hip distance apart or assistance with the legs together. So you can start opening the opportunity. You can teach someone the movement pattern and progress them to the floor if needed. Another nice element is bringing the legs together and you can then go into not only bilateral but unilateral action by going into scissors. You can cue the board to remain very still like Jeff is doing here or you can have the board really move and try to challenge that range of motion. Moving from scissors you can go more into a bicycle from here. The head can be up or it can be down. You can wedge them up if needed as well but because you're on that slight incline it's sometimes easier for someone to come up and they can really take a look at how they're moving if they're shifting in their pelvis or not. From this, you can also go into double leg circles. And you can start to add an element of control by going into what we call the windmill. Windmill is one leg will come up, one leg will come down, and then you'll circle your legs around, and then you come back up together, and then you switch sides. Now if you don't have the leg pulley system and you're still trying to find a way to assist someone with stabilization, here's another trick you can do. So I'm going to have Jeff come in with his knees. Again, I'll help stabilize the board and I cue him to reach for home base or the actual base of the total gym. His other foot come out and then he's going to roll up to sitting. Staying on a lower incline level for this, I'm going to have him slowly stand up and he's going to transition and face the tower. I'm going to lower the inclining level just to about anywhere between four and five to start someone off and then he's going to sit at the very top edge of the glide board. I'll tell him to scoot so his rear end's almost hanging off the edge and that will make sure that he's going to lie back that he'll be positioned in the right place. He can place his feet onto the rails and he'll roll all the way back. In this position the spine gets supported slightly into a posterior tilt. Now the reason for this is oftentimes when we start to add the leg movements, you'll see people arch from their back. This is a little bit of way to passively assist stabilization. So here you might start off with heel slides, having someone slide onto the rail. Then you might progress again to the bicycle, to the scissors, all the other actions we just did using the leg pulley system. This just provides another option. When I have patients that can't actually lie into their backs inverted, then in this position I just bring the incline level up on the glide board and it helps them just a little bit so they don't feel like they're upside down.